Bears lost 35-32. But joining us now is former Chicago Bear cornerback Jerry Azuma. Good to have you, buddy. And Paul yeah. Conrad, too. How are you, Paul? Yeah, good, good, yeah. Good, good to see you, man. Thank you. you. Good to see you, too. As always. You look fantastic. Come on. As always. Come on. Stop it. <laughs> so, uh, listen, I mean, you know, I said earlier today, I was talking to Jared Payton, and I said, uh, Justin Fields, when this guy takes off with the ball, yeah. he is the most electrifying Bears player since Devin Hester that I've seen, right? Since me. S and <laughs> since you, of course, on returns as well. Let's not forget you. But, but you were before Devin. Yes. Um, your, your, your thoughts on, on the growth, the maturation of Justin yeah. Fields, and, and what you've seen, what you like, and what you want to see more? Well, I know that there was going to be pain this season, yeah. you know, with uh, everything that's been going on, with the changes that have been made. But, you know, he is the most important piece to this team. He's yeah. the most important piece to this offense. And I just wanted to see growth. Mm -hmm. And right now we're starting to see him grow uh, week in and week out. And it's also really nice to see that Luke Getze is really understanding the offense and really building the offense around him as well and his talents and you know we just got Claypool so I think that he, we're going to introduce him more into the offense you know their identity is running the football and we've been tremendous at doing that as well so it's starting to come together and you can see how they're trying to build this team moving forward um, what were your thoughts were of of Matt you know when they hired Matt Eberflus maybe mm -hmm. maybe not the guy a lot of people wanted to see hired you know you had mm -hmm. Brian Dayball out there an offensive guy right. Matt Eberflus comes in what are your thoughts are maybe how they've changed on Eberflus as, as you've seen this team grow and you've mm -hmm. seen this team take steps well I think that he's a tremendous coach yeah. and uh, he expects a lot from his his guys his core guys um, he's just a leader out there and he knows you know to get the best how to get the best out of each and every guy out there at different positions. So he's more of a defensive-minded guy, so he has to go out there and trust the, the offensive people that he brings into power. But um, collectively, all together, they're putting it all together, and I think that he's just, he has a very solid coaching staff right now. I know you were, uh, you were at the game yesterday. And, I was there. And I know, you know, as a fan watching you, as a former <laughs> defensive back, watching Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell yeah. just destroy them. They're had amazing. to drive, but that had to drive you crazy <laughs> at the same time, yes, right? I, like I, I don't like the fact that teams come in here and they just kind of impose their will on uh, the Chicago Bears. But I mean, credit to the Miami Dolphins; right. they are a tremendous team. They've been making some excellent moves, um, you know, um, uh, throughout the season. They acquired Chubb. And he is a fantastic defensive player. But, I mean, they're very explosive on offense. And when they have two, uh, you know, healthy, yeah. he wins football games. So you are here also to talk about the uh, Jackson Chance Foundation's uh, ping pong ball. For a lot of people who don't know Jackson Chance, what they do is they uh, pay for parking for, for yeah. parents who have children in the NICU. A lot of parents mm -hmm. who have kids in the NICU run up these huge parking tabs because right. they go to the hospital every day. It's a, it's a great group. I've, I've done this event in the past. What, what can we, this is Thursday night. What can we expect? Thursday night. Well, I'll be there uh, with some of my friends as well. And uh, it's just a night where we get together um, and we're going to play some ping pong. So I'm, go I'm not going to be playing. I't going to be coaching. Oh, you know, come on. I don't want to. I mean, I'm a really good ping pong player, yeah, but I'm, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm not going to display my talents out there. I'm just going to coach uh, everybody up out there. But it's going to be a fantastic night. Um, I've supported this uh, organization, you know, throughout the years as well. And they just do uh, a fantastic job. Yeah, they do. I, I went to this event a couple years ago. Adam Hogue and I dominated the. Uh, dominated, uh, huh? We did. We were okay. a team. We were a team. You don't remember? We did. I don't oh, think yeah, I we remember that. <laughs> it was dominated. A, it I don't was know a, if I remember that. It was a that. smaller tournament. Oh, okay. The before okay. and the VIP, okay. and we crushed everybody. Maybe nah, it was nah. a VIP. That was what it was. Okay. We crushed all okay. the VIPs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Zoom will be there. The eighth annual ping pong ball is Thursday, November tenth. This Thursday, five thirty p.m. It's at Morgan Manufacturing, four oh one. North Morgan Street in Chicago. For tickets, go to jacksonchance.org slash PPB2022. Uh, they are really a, a, a great group. You'll see Jerry there uh, not playing ping pong. <laughs> Good to see you, <laughs> always, buddy. Good to see you, too. Thank All you right. for having me. You got it. Time for a round town. Hey, Anna.